guys, we're back <laughs> with another foundation review and this is one that I've been waiting for for a long time and you've been waiting as well. Before we get into this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the little bell button so you know every single time I upload you will get a notification and you can jump on the early bandwagon. This is about the new uh, YSL All Hours Foundation. It's been in the US for quite a long time, although with a different package. This is the UK package and this is the US package. I don't know why they changed, but you know, I don't know, you know. But anyway, they did do what I think, not, not official because I haven't heard from them, but what I think was a pre-launch of the foundation on their own website in the UK. I didn't hear about it until too late. I don't think they launched it anywhere, they announced it anywhere, but there were a few foundations that were released for buying. And when I got there, the two lightest foundations were sold out. They're all fair as shit. In the meantime, a lot more of them sold out. I'm gonna link it down below anyway, just in case it comes back, because I'm pre-filming again. And just in case it goes back in stock, I'm gonna link the US and the UK links below. They haven't released it anywhere else in the UK. I know it's available in France as well, so in case you're in France, I'm gonna link it as well down below. Again, I don't know when they have a date for an actual release on this, but they had a link where you could ask for a sample and they take you through a questionnaire of like undertones and skin tones. They sent me this sample of it and it's quite a generous sample and it's the lightest shade, I presume. It says nowhere what the shade is, but I do really think this is the lightest shade from the swatches I've seen. A uh, fair with neutral undertones. I asked you guys on Twitter, on Instagram stories, if you wanted me to review this based off this sample, because I think this is well enough for uh, one time, and maybe even two. Let's get into it! As always, I'm gonna do half of my face with the brush, half of my face with the beauty blender. Again, you know I love the beauty blender, so that would be probably my fave. And then I'm gonna do two check-ins, four hours apart, a total of eight hours. Mm, seems like a good match. It smells very lightly of like freshness. And floral freshness, if that makes sense. I'm gonna put a light layer on first. This seems to be oxidizing a little bit already. This is definitely a little bit darker than my actual face, but it's not too much to bother because I'm used to it. But it is a little bit darker compared to all the other foundations I've been testing. This is quite full coverage. I just applied a little, little bit and I can see already that it is, wow, it is cool. And it, I, I just can't believe it. Even with a brush, you guys know my brush applications rarely go well, but oh my God, this looks flawless. And it's cool that I'm testing out a sample because at the end of the video, I'll be able to tell you if I'm interested in getting the full size. It's just really, really skin-like, which I like. Ooh, it's not super matte, which I also really like. It doesn't set way too quickly, so you have time to move things around. I'm interested to see if it still holds a, a long-lasting effect. But as you can see, it is a little darker than my original face. I'm kind of wondering if this is the lightest shade. I guess I'll only be able to tell you that once I get a hold of the actual foundation, but I think this is the lightest shade, yes. Put a little bit more in the parts that are more pigmented. This blends like a dream. I've never had a foundation that is high coverage blend this well. And I know that I'm putting a lot here, because I just want to test its full coverage-ness. Look at this beautifulness. I love the finish. I love that it isn't too matte, because I'm not a too matte kind of girl, you know. You know. But I'm definitely going to have to set this with a powder. Honestly, I would apply this one with a brush, because the coverage is there, and the finish is perfect. I never thought I'd say this. By the way, I really like this patchula. I don't know if the real one... There's still a lot of foundation here. I'm honestly amazed. I didn't think I was gonna like this as much. I mean, I thought I was gonna like it, but not like that. Other than the shade not being a complete match, it has no flaws so far. So far. I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, this is the first layer. 
I'd say it, it's actually quite similar in terms of coverage to the first brush layer. Let's go over again just a little bit with on the pigmented areas. I have a pimple here that really hurts. So when I do this, she's like, back off, bitch. I'm so happy. I don't even care that this is darker than me. I'll make it work like I have been my whole life. This is a second layer with the Beauty Blender. I believe it takes a lot more product to build up the full coverage with the Beauty Blender. I'm just gonna leave it at two. But yeah, in this case, I wouldn't mind using the brush anyway because the finish is as flawless as the Beauty Blender one, which has never happened in my life, but it is. So I'd use the brush in this one. Oh my God, what am I saying? It feels wrong just to say that. My neck is a little bit lighter than my face even. People always say, match your foundation to your neck. If I match my foundation to my neck first, I wouldn't have any foundations matte. And secondly, I look like Casper. With this finish, if it lasts all day, I'd make it work. Believe me, I'd make it work. I've never come up close so late in the video because usually I'm complaining, so I come up close like real fast. So you see, this is the Beauty Blender side where I think I couldn't build up as much coverage this is the brush side. I'm gonna powder it up with my Biterra Hydra Powder, which is my babe. I'm gonna do my stuff. It's really hot today, so it'll be a good test as well because I'll be I'm I'm already sweating. Will it be long lasting? We'll see. It says up to 24 hour long wear. Up to 24, that can, that, that can mean anything. That could be five and you're just like, you know, but it could be 24. <laughs> Flawless matte. No, it's just demi matte, satiny even, which I like, not complaining, but it's not full matte. It also says full coverage, which I think with a brush you can achieve. It is definitely not a matte foundation and it shouldn't be marketed as such is a demi matte satiny foundation. It's really, really hot in London. I have a river of sweat down my boobs. So that's why I'm also so oily. But I believe that for winter, this would be a perfect foundation for me. I just cannot get over the flawlessness of the finish. It's more, almost like a second layer of skin. See that mustache of sweat? Sexy. I don't believe it oxidized much since I put it on. It was just a little darker at the time anyway. I feel super comfortable in it. No itchiness, no dryness. I don't believe that it's a matte foundation still, but it is a high coverage foundation. Some of that coverage has kind of went away because of sweat. But at the same time, I think if you powder throughout the day or in the winter, I really think this won't be a problem. And I'm really excited to actually try it in the winter and yeah I'm definitely gonna buy this foundation I think it's a little bit more oily than it was before at the four hour mark but not too much the coverage is still pretty much the same I think too the texture is amazing still it's a little more broken up but again nothing really to complain about it looks flawless can you see? It's really, really buildable with a flawless looking finish still, which is very hard to achieve, I think, with high coverage foundations. They always end up looking cakey, and this one doesn't self-set that much, so I would always powder. But other than that, and the shade match little thing, I'm done. I'm it. I'm gonna buy it. So, who's excited for the launch of this? Also, comment down below with any other foundation that you would want me to try and test and review in the future. Because I'm dying to do those shit. I have a few foundations under my site. But I really want to know what you want me to review. If you like this video, give it a big old thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more. Don't forget to click the little bell button. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'm in Portugal right now enjoying my vacation. So I must be at the beach. And my Instagram stories are about to be lit. I love you and I see you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,